Taylor made former TAW champion does not look happy then again does he ever he only looks happy when he's got the gold and there he is right away running his mouth off like he did last night in the studio he's barely come out of that curtain and he's already yelling at the crowd with this being such an important match, is it, is it wise to get in the uh, in the bad books of uh, of the crowd here at CAW Collision? I don't think uh, Taylor May cares. Just the arrogance of the man himself. He just thinks he's better than anybody else. He can party better than anybody else, and he doesn't care what other people think because it's all about Taylor May. But will that be the case tonight? Oh, someone's giving him the microphone. Oh, Stupid. Oh. Crowd clearly not wanting him to get away the edgeways. Taylor made not liking it. Bradley Ford retiring earlier tonight against Samsung. There's a Samsung. Pretty sure the mood in the uh, in the arena tonight is about to swiftly change as Nate Nitro makes his intro. Car getting ready for the crowd to go wild. Here comes the champion, the TAW heavyweight champion, Nate Nitro. Clearly liked by the fans a lot more than Taylor made. But he is the man who has shut Taylor made up by his ability within the ring in the last couple of events at TAW. Nate Nitro lets his fists and his feet do the talking. Of course, he looks proud and confident and physically fit with that gold. It seems to suit him as he just walks straight up to TaylorMade. And TaylorMade, again, his confidence and arrogance not looking uh, brilliant as TaylorMade just goes straight into Nate Nitro. Diving straight in him. there. Choosing to strike while Nate Nitro had his back turned. Of course, hitting Nate Nitro with the belt to get the upper hand. A typical uh, thing of TaylorMade. Not that you'd expect anything more from Taylor Made, the uh, former TAW champion. He wants the ring. The ring. He's in the ring. He wants the belt. He's fired up for this. I'm actually quite worried about Nate Nitro in this, uh, the match. He took, the, he took the, uh, the championship belt square to the face there. And also, we haven't seen Taylor Made since Nate Nitro uh, won that off him. So obviously he wants it back. Diving straight in there. He's got the first pinfall. That took what, three seconds? Took three seconds. So the next one then is a submissions match. The crowd here clearly in shock after that first fall. Nate Nitro barely getting the chance to get going. Before the bell even rung, he had his own bell rung by Nate Nitro using that championship belt, hitting him square between the eyes. No, I thought it was the wrong thing for the ref to actually let this happen and let it go ahead. But of course, what would you expect from, uh, from Taylor Made taking the shortcuts available to him? Of course, he has done, he will do uh, throughout the time in TAW for as long as he has this arrogance about him that he will just take these shortcuts as Nate Nitro comes back with some back truck. Clearly being stunned rather than being knocked out by that championship belt slot. But he's making his way back. Beautiful flying head scissors there by Nate Nitro. 
everybody in attendance clearly wanting to see the uh, knife edge chop. Gets a punches to the head now to Taylor Made. Ten punches to the head of Taylor Made from Nate Nitro. With uh, with someone's uh, someone like uh, Taylor Made, his head has clearly been inflated um, by his own ego. So uh, taking the easy target there was Nate Nitro. Of course, we're looking for a submission there, so Nate Nitro going straight in for a submission. Of course, Taylor made grabbing onto the ropes like a little coward. Hiding behind the ref. Going for a low blow there, taking the shortcut again is Taylor made Of course, the ref asking Taylor made what he did. Is that he'll ever own up to, uh, to what he does. Taylor made now focusing on the leg of Nate Nitro. Oh. Nate Nitro could that prove screaming to, in pain. Could that prove to be a smart move going into this submission fall? Oh. Ref trying to keep control of this match. Nate Nitro clearly in trouble here. Taylor made not having any of the ref. But he just took a uh, basically his, his leg was slammed straight into that ring post. And that's going to do some uh, some damage to the, the the ligaments around his knee. Taylor May now wearing down Nate Nitro. This isn't looking good for the TAW champion. He's really concentrating on that knee, so we can probably see something like a Boston uh, half leg Boston crowd. Saying so, no, that, I mean, we've seen, you've seen plenty of Taylor May's matches. I don't think I've ever seen him win via submission. No, certainly haven't. Not for a very long time. Of course, time that anyway. would that would require him to uh, uh, to win fair, which of course we haven't done for, uh, for a while. But like I say, he's going to go for a sort of half Boston crab there. Single leg Boston crab hooks in. Is Nate Nitro going to quit? Of course, if, if he if he throws the towel in now, that is the championship belt gone. Um, when he only just won it back down in Dunstable in that lumberjack match. So the pressure is clearly on Nate Nitro, Nate Nitro right now. He lost the first fall pretty, uh, pretty quickly, pretty decisively after the cheap shot by Taylor Made. Now that's going to uh, play a, a big part in Nate Nitro later on. So if he does get Taylor Made to submit in this one, I think that could come back to haunt him, um, receiving that belt to the face in the last man standing match. It could do. And of course, submission losses, uh, of course, playing the mental side, saying the words, I quit, no wrestler ever will ever mutter those words lightheartedly. Nate Nitro can get himself back in this match. If he makes Taylor May say those words, I quit, surely the momentum at that point will be fully well, in crowd, his corner. But well, the crowd is now getting behind Nate Nitro before Taylor May caught him. Got up on his shoulders. Slapjack press. Of course, you'd, uh, you'd expect Taylor May to go for the pin regularly there. Of course, though, that does not count at this point in the match. And he's going back to focus on the legs of Nate Nitro. I can see him getting ready to do uh, some sort of Texas Cloverleaf on uh, Nate Nitro, so it'll be interesting to see how much he's going to work on those legs and will he uh, perform the Texas Cloverleaf. Well, we all know that Taylor Maid has got a, uh, got a very sound wrestling knowledge. He seems to spend nothing, uh, nothing um, yeah! spends his entire spare time at home watching, watching the tapes. Watching watch, himself, watching, watching his the classics, of course, probably, probably watching himself in the mirror at the same time. I did hear uh, a while ago that uh, the time uh, prime time players, when they were together, he's actually edited them, Nate Nitro, out of those matches. So I would not be him. surprised. I would not be surprised. Uh, that is the sort of uh, sort of thing that Taylor made is starting to become known for here in TAW. Of course, I uh, had an ankle lock in Nate Nitro, but he's got he made himself back to the ring, and Taylor made has shoved uh, Nate Nitro into the turnbuckle, and he's grabbing that leg again. If I was Nate Nitro, I would try and keep my legs away from Taylor Made and let himself recover as he's trying to get the crowd behind himself. Of course, when you're so speedy and so uh, so agile, like Nate Nitro is, the legs just play such an important part does. of your offence. And of course, Taylor Made trying to get a uh, figure four leg lock. Of course, appearing on figure four radio last night. Nitro struggling with that leg. 
clearly favouring the uh, the leg that Nate Nitro, uh, that Taylor May's been working on. Beautiful float over reverse DDT there by Nate Nitro. Crowd trying to cheer him on. They obviously want to see the TAW champion win this one. Like everybody in the dressing room as well. I'm pretty sure everybody back, everybody in the dressing room is hoping Taylor Maid gets his uh, backside handed to him. Nice armbar hooked in by Nate Nitro. We're not quite sure. Does Taylor Maid have the heart to carry on like we saw earlier in the evening with uh, Mr. Ian Paul McSherry? Was getting up for a pin, but obviously a pin doesn't count in this uh, in the stage of the three stages of hell. Now, if you're Taylor Maid, you're currently one 0 up in this matchup. Um, if you have a move like that armbar locked in, horribly painful move um, to be uh, to be stuck in. Would you concede the fall and then take it into the last man standing match? Well, no, because as we can see right now, he's got uh, Nate Nitro in an ankle lock, so this could be the end of the match right now. As uh, Nate Nitro works himself back up. Nice uh, Enziguri kick there by Nate Nitro, but both men are now down, feeling the effects of this match already. As Nate Nitro tries to get the crowd again behind him. Because that crowd will play a massive part to the arrogance of Taylor Made as he goes in, grabs the leg. Goes back to the ankle lock submission. Taylor, Taylor Made clearly suffering. Of course, Nate Nitro making himself, trying to get to those ropes. Nate Nitro now far across in the middle of the ring. He's managed to roll out of it and he's got the armbar back on. Painful again. I think second time round, Taylor made Mike tap in this one. And he, he has. has. He's got him. The crowd a lot happier with that decision. I think one round of that move, he can deal with it. Second one, that's just going to put more pressure on his arm and the, up in the, to his upper shoulder area. Well, of course, if you're Taylor made, you can afford to tap out at that point as there is still one more fall to go throughout these three stages of hell. We are now entering a last man standing match, of course, where the winner is the, uh, is the guy who can keep his opponent down for a count of 10. As Nate Nitro goes straight for under, what's under the ring. And of course, I believe that's some sort of tray. Can't quite see from this angle. We a kendo a stick. We have a, a kendo stick. I can uh, quite happily say that I've never been hit with a kendo stick. Uh, However, it's, uh, it's common knowledge that they hurt like hell. <laughs> and of course, I believe uh, Taylor Maid will be feeling that effect in a moment. So as a steel chair enters the uh, ring. So this is going to be quite brutal. These are finally going to get these two men one on one with a bunch of weapons. I think this is what the fans of TAW wanted to see for a very, very long time. Definitely. Well, when you've got someone that's hated as much as Taylor Maid, all you want to do is see him get his, uh, get his ass handed to him. Certainly does. Implant DDT there by Taylor Maid. Of course, now the aim to, uh, to keep your opponent knocked down on the mat. However, Nate Nitro showing signs of life already. He's only up to a three count. Well, Taylor Made clearing the ring of all the weapons. If I was Taylor Made, I would personally keep them and keep working on Nate Nitro with those weapons. Well, of course, when, when they've gotten down and out. While they're legal, they've got to use them to your advantage. But at the same time, if Nate Nitro manages to take the upper hand, uh, Taylor Made has now cleared the ring of all the uh, all the weapons that he could use against. Him. That nice quite painful as, nice uh, T-bone sequence. Oh, awkward landing in the corner by Nate Nitro. Nate Nitro looks kind of out of it. Out of it already. Could this be the end of Nate Nitro's TAW reign as, a, as the champion? Could be one of the shortest title reigns if that is the case. Where, of course, Nate Nitro being so close to the ropes, he can use them to his advantage as we see him try and pull himself up. Of course, the crowd getting underneath Taylor made skin as, as we hear him. Shouting abuse at the fans here at TOW's events of Collision what? of 2014. I would say that's well deserved. Stay down. Nate Nitro down again. Now this will really test uh, Nate Nitro's heart in this. Will it? Can he get back up? But when the crowd's behind you, um, like they are in the case of Nate Nitro, that has got to help. Taylor made one of the most hated people on the TOW roster by the fans and by the locker room alike. No, Nitro now up to six. 
seven. Nate Nitro is going to get in line. We believe he's going to get back. We have to believe he's going to get back. He's got to. He's fighting for his championship belt right now. He's got to get up. But the problem is, when you look at Taylor Made, he, he, you can tell he wants that gold around his waist. It, it he seems he to be all, he, all he's cared about since losing it back in Dunstable. And now he's bringing back the weapons back into the ring. Clearly not the smartest wrestler in the world. Um, undoing his previous work of clearing the ring, he's now filling it back up again. Um, of course, he could save himself a lot of time if he'd have just not thrown them out in the first place. Oh, there's a Kindle stick whack to Nate Nitro. That's got to hurt. Just working over Nate Nitro. Now, he did promise that he was going to dissect Nate Nitro in this match, um, showing some of the, uh, the fire he showed last night in his uh, interview time on the radio. I'm, quite, I'm actually quite worried now for Nate Nitro and his uh, TAW... Uh, he's clearly feeling, the, uh, clearly feeling the effects of all his weapon shots. Taylor made looking pretty chuffed with himself right now. The only problem is he's got, he can't pin him. He can't win it now because obviously he would get the pin count as we speak. He's got to hope that Nate Nitro won't get up. So this will be very interesting to see the heart of Nate Nitro. Can he get back up? He's certainly struggling as, uh, as we see now what's Taylor made holding a keyboard. Is that a keyboard? It looks like a keyboard, yes. Of course, Taylor made taking the time to learn the alphabet there. <laughs> Cleverly enough. As he goes for the swing. And a kendo Nate stick. Nitro picking up the kendo stick. Repaying the favour from earlier on in the match. Taylor May does not look like he's enjoying that. Round her up. Taylor May not liking that one. Stiff one chair bit. shot right between the shoulder blades. It's going to be the first time we've seen Taylor, Taylor made in so, quite so much pain. Of course, the steel cage match they had previously, that was over pretty quickly. It was over pretty quickly, and it looked like uh, Taylor made is going to learn the, more of the alphabet. There's another kick as the uh, keyboard smashes it on the outside of the ring. <laughs> nice slingshot there into the ropes by Nate slingshot. Nitro. Taylor May clearly seeing stars right now. He doesn't quite know where he is. Remember, he's got to get up before the count of ten. This is a last man standing. The third round in the three stages of hell. And the keyboard smashing into pieces over the head of Taylor Maid. As the keyboard no longer needing a window. There are letters all over the TAW arena tonight. But all Taylor May can see right now is stars. Up to four. Taylor Maid is not moving right now. He's barely twitching. Nate Nitro looking pretty strong right now. Referee's count is up to eight. Taylor May gets himself outside the ring. What's Nate Nitro got in, got in mind here? Nice suicide, suicide dive. He's really got Taylor May reeling right now. And the ring is absolutely filled with just carnage that these two men have left. There is, there's keyboard debris everywhere. May Nitro celebrating in the crowd, getting them fired up. So if there's one thing we've learned tonight at TAW Collision, it's how important that crowd is, having them on your side. And of course, Taylor made my uh, wish he didn't run his mouth so much as the TAW, uh, Nate Nitro, TAW champion Nate Nitro has the crowd behind him. Now, although Taylor made made it to his feet there to break the 10 count, he is pretty groggy by the sounds of it. Of course, he's up on the... Struggling, uh, to, uh, struggling to make it onto the stage. Nate Nitro stalking Taylor made there as the two brawl on top of the stage. Taylor 
hooking in front face lock now. Setting up for a vertical suplex. He can't be thinking this. Off the stage. If he hits this, surely this will be the end of Nate Nitro. Well, Nate Nitro has blocked it. He's fighting out of it. And he hits it on the stage. Now that stage, we're right next to the stage, and that stage is pretty hard. I, Falling on that would hurt. I, I, I'm pretty sure that our, our sound desk there shook as uh, Taylor May's body bounced off the uh, off the wooden stage. Now there's no padding there. There's no uh, there's no Nothing. spring in that stage. That is as solid as they come. And of course that move clearly taken it out of both men. Taylor May taking the brunt, but Nate Nitro clearly feeling it. Both men somehow miraculously back to their feet. But Nate Nitro now using the crowd to his advantage, soaking in that energy that the crowd are giving to Nate Nitro. Did he just drive him through a table? I believe so. Oh my God. Nate Nitro tried to cross body Taylor May. Taylor May caught him, slammed him through that table. Now was that, was that intended? I mean, it looked like he caught him and just fell backwards. No, that, I mean, that, that, that was a definite slam. That was a, looked like a spine buster from here. That is shocking. That is shocking. I, but both men are what we can see is down. Well, the referee is still counting. One man's up. Taylor made has Taylor made, made it to is, his feet. is up to his feet. I don't know how he's managed that. He's taken one hell of a beating. They're up to eight. Nine. Come on, Nate. Nate's he's made, made it up. up at the last second. What a guy this Nate Night Show is. Although. With that shot there, he's, he's straight back down again. This, this is hard to watch. It is hard to watch as uh, Taylor Made has obviously got a grudge. As we all know, but he really wants that belt. He's just going to go for it. Taylor Made obviously bullying the refs. He wants Christian, the, uh, the other ref, to come in and help him. Uh, What's he planning here? It looks like he's taken apart the wrestling ring. Taylor made still drawing with the crowd. Looks like he's taking apart the ring. I, I can't understand what, what he's trying to achieve, taking apart parts of the ring. I know it kind of gets rid of some of the padding that they, they have around the ring. It's very reminiscent of, uh, of a certain bully in another, uh, another company where total action is the aim of the game. Certainly is. It's going to be now. The part of the ring is this kind of. It's not so much padding, but it softens the blow. Taking that off it is, it is completely nothing, and he's, it's just he's pure pain. It back here. This, this does not look good for Nate Nitro. Certainly doesn't. Whatever he, whatever, uh, whatever Taylor Made has in mind right now, it's it's not going to work out well for uh, for Nate. Taylor Made cut. Causing one hell of a mess in the ring. He was talking a lot last night about how important it is to help pack up the ring. Well, it looks like he's starting early here. He's, he's ready to go home with the gold. Well, Nate Nitro still showing signs of life. No, Nate Nitro, as we all know, has finished as a Tornado DDT. Uh, so this will be interesting because he's this is a prime position for that Tornado DDT. Does Taylor Made really know what he's doing right now? Of course, he's putting him in the, uh, in the danger zone. Fighting out of that hangman DDT. Both men look absolutely, absolutely shattered right now. They have literally been three stages of hell. They've been through they, it. They have been through hell. Well, and there's that really. Tornado DDT I was on about. Taylor he Made, obviously not as smart as he, is, as he looks. And that's saying something because he doesn't even look that smart. No. Is Nate Nitro able to capitalise after hitting that Tornado DDT? The only problem Referee is, is up to four. The only problem is he's taken a lot of pounding from TaylorMade on the outside, obviously put through that table. So he's feeling it as well. Right now, this could go either way. Neither man is moving. No Nitro is a bit signs and TaylorMade also. Referee's up to nine. Nate Nitro's made it to his feet. He's managed it. He's got it. Taylor Made is down. Nate Nitro winning the TAW, retaining the TAW championship. The winner of the three stages of Hell match and
That was one of the most brutal matches I have ever witnessed. Certainly was, and I'll be uh, interested to see if that was the end of Taylor May trying to get that goal. I don't think it will be, but it's <laughs> certainly great to see the, uh, that, the that champion. Makes, win that makes it. three straight losses in a row. Can hey, the management Ta Taylor May has got to uh, got to realise that uh, Nate Nigel has, has his number now. Surely. Can can the management really allow Taylor May to have another chance at the TAW roster? Because I'm sure there is loads of right people in the roster who wants that gold and who is after that gold. Of course, Nate Nitro taking his gold out to his fans. Clearly appreciative of the battle he's just gone through. We saw tables, we saw chairs, we saw keyboards and kendo sticks. That was a brutal, brutal match. And who's this? Paul McSherry. Paul McSherry sneaking out of the back. Paul McSherry. As we we're on about earlier, one of the meanest men. Nate Nitro doesn't even see him there. Paul McSherry's got him up. Nate Nitro can't do anything about it. Oh, brutal F5 to Nate Nitro. Could this be the calling that Nate Nitro now has to face? You know the what? meanest, the strongest man in TAW. After, Ta after Taylor made. Um, Taylor, Taylor made looks like a, a child compared to Paul McSherry. If that is the way things are going, Nate Nitro has got one hell of a job on his hand if he wants to retain that belt. I mean, Taylor made obviously wants the title. He loves the title. He goes for the title. But Paul McSherry is, uh, like you say, a, a whole it's, new kettle of fish. It's hard to argue with this man's dominance. We've already seen it tonight. He's going Tom after Toby, the announcer. This can't be right. Where is the security in this? Oh, my gosh. I mean, Toby is not a small guy. He picked him up as if it was a bag of crisps. Can anybody stop this man? Of course, people calling for Paul McSherry to get up the ref. And this is absolutely wrong. The crowd is the going wild though. Taylor made you are nothing for oh Paul McSherry. Gosh. Nate Nitro. Seriously, mate, if I was you, I would get your gold and run. Brutal display of dominance by Paul McSherry. Can anybody stop this man? Nate Nitro has not moved. He is lying motionless on the floor. My gosh, what have we witnessed here tonight? Of course, uh, Paul McSherry basically calling to Nate Nitro. He wants that gold. He's going to go be after that gold. It'll be very what, interesting to see what What happens. a display of dominance by Paul McSherry. If that is the way that uh, the things are going to go, um, I, I, I'm not looking forward to, uh, I'm to what's going to happen. Well... We've just seen him take out announcers. We've seen him taking out referees. I'm worried for us. We're, we're close to the ring, in all honesty. Um, I, I mean, Nate Nitro does not look great. Uh, Nate Nitro is out on his feet right now. Falling he onto the stage. He can't even walk. No. So, this is horrible. I, 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 I can't watch this. This is, this is shocking. I'm, I'm quite glad that we're in the corner out of the way. I'm glad Paul McSherry did not see us, because I'll be quite worried for us. He picked up, he picked up the, uh, the announcer as if he was a packet of crisps. Of course, the refs now. Uh, he dropped him like to like it. yesterday's news. That was that was shocking stuff. So it's certainly been uh, one collision right here in Wifton Leisure Centre. That was one hell of a collision. I, I I still I'm still struggling to put into words what we've just witnessed. Paul McSherry now back out. again back in the ring. Referees clearing out as quick as they can. They got the ref again. Just He's going for him. second F5. You've got to wonder what the fine will be for taking out referees like this. Paul McSherry clearly does not care. Certainly sending a message to the champion Nate Nitro and the rest of the crew and crowd of TAW. It's been one fantastic collision right here in Wifty Leisure Centre. It's been one hell of a night. Um, it's, it's just shocking scenes as we close this bit the night here just, just the referee's carnage. not moving the announcers aren't moving Nate Nitro could barely make it back to the locker room all because of one man Paul McSherry or well, the wrecking machine that is Paul McSherry is just uh, just laid waste to everybody in the ring and around the ring bar us I mean we're quite Thank God. We're sat here quite shocked at what's just happened in front of us uh, Nate Nitro retaining the TAW gold but for how long that message from Paul McSherry it's uh, yeah you got to question what's going to happen um, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining us here at TAW K 
Collision 2014. We've had one hell of a night. We hope you've enjoyed watching. And of course, for more information about TOW, why not go onto their website? It's www.totalactionwrestling.com. And of course, or, find them on Facebook. Or indeed, why not check out uh, Figure 4 Radio as well? Our, their website and our website is figure4radio.webs.com. Uh, so from the guru, Ollie Spring. And of course, uh, the Killer Kyle brand. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time at TAW. Bye-bye.